And welcome back everybody, this is a short break, but they seem to be very anxious to see, to see what the fuck they've done. Okay, yep. Flipper 5 Dungeoneers, week 29, segment number Actually, 4. Actually, uh, yeah, we're still 3.5 because now I'm the small one. Yeah. Yes, okay. you're now the gnome, so it's still 3.5. I yeah. don't know how, with the, like, the amazing amount of polymorphs and, <laughs> and people dying, you're still 3.5. <laughs> <laughs> Around you. Okay, so what do you Can I get some heals? Can I get some heals, please? I'm <laughs> long. I'm at 11 out of 92. Okay, I'm gonna so, go ahead and cast light. Because um, light. Do you have any other vision? Do you have any other vision to fire in your map? I don't. I'm not on my map, so. I will move you into your map, but do you have any other light source? I also have dark vision. I have a uh, low light vision, so I can see twice as far with the light source as normal. Okay, one second, my lawyer. It seems like. Roll 20 is dying. Give me one sec. Don't die, roll 20. And I have the connection to your server has been interrupted. Give me one sec. Okay. Do 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 Okay, let's continue this. So you cast light, and as soon as you cast light, you see you see things, shadows coming out of the wall to fire. Uh, okay. guys, there are things moving up here. Okay. What what do you guys do? What's your immediate reaction to this? Oh, I'm gonna take you as I have you on because I don't have you on roll twenty anymore. I say, what's your immediate reaction upon all <coughs> this? Um, fly back up, shape shift into a bear. Okay, you fly back up, you shift into a bear. You see, as I said, creatures, shadows, coming from the wall, moving into the room. Okay, immediate reaction, Alex. What do you do? I will have Delmasu cast Mass Shield of Faith. Okay. And that will give uh, uh, plus three deflection bonus to AC. Coach, what's your immediate reaction? Brace. I'm actually, no, my immediate reaction would be. Like six second reaction or three second no, reaction? No, you have a round. You have a round before they fully uh, come into the room. I will drink twice. You will drink twice. Okay, <laughs> everybody will meet. reaction is drinking. This is, this is seemingly going to be done the old fashioned way, so. The old fashioned way. The old fashioned, I mean, no map, no nothing. Oh, that's what you meant. Oh, okay. That's what I meant. Oh, my initiative. Right. I, I get like a plus five to this or something. Oh, oh, um, let oh. me just check the five points. Okay. Uh, it seems like Roll 20 is back, maybe. Roll 20 is back all this time for me. I don't okay, know what it's back, it's back. It's always dying for me. The connection wasn't being interrupted for me. So, let me. My GM one is not back yet. Give me one sec. Okay, it's back now. Primal Instinct. Okay, I'll move you guys. So we have Karush and Jermitsu here. We got Gareth in the room behind and Terfayir in the room behind. So I'll move you guys in the room behind. Let's go back in here. We are not in here. Terfayir, you're around here. And you see these creatures fully come out of the. Okay, you can um, feel free to give me an arcana or origin check though for you if you want to figure out what these are. Wait, wait a minute. What's this thing? One second. That is a token. That's what's this thing? That is a, that is a TMA token. One second. Am I on a different page be. than everybody else? Should we be able to see that TMA token? I don't think we should be able to see TMA. No. I'm worried, Chucky. <gasps> It was, no, it was, you're I'm a bear map. now. So like, oh, you're not in this map, so you don't see this. I'm a bear and I heal for Go for you. 14 you HP. Arcana or 39 for Arcana. These are dread, dread weights. Extremely powerful weights. 
that suck the light life out of people. Very hard Check. to kill. And they can create more wraiths as they fight. Shit. Are wraiths undead? Cleric! Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what happens when we roll initiative. Everybody give me initiative. 17. Uh, 18. 30. 30. I am a bear. These guys are at a 20. Uh, so let me... Tom. Tom. Wow, well, the initiative is going to be a bit fucked up because you're in different rooms. But... One second. Tim, 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 Tim. I am a bear. You are a bear. I am an f fork. I am still an eagle somehow. One second. I'm trying to find your bear. Ah, uh, Tim, it's back. Run away. <laughs> trying to find. It's a scary your... ass token of Tim, Chucky. I don't like it. I know. I know. If it's the second time I've missed it. <laughs> yeah, because you're in a different room. One sec. It's got like different color hairs, and it's like a giant ass dragon creature. It's pretty scary. It's uh, gonna okay, eat us, Chucky. Gareth. There you have your token. And. Yeah. You're right here. Go fire. These guys are not here. Okay, so let's move you guys. Let's move the oh, map on the chat you. as well. To this place. And since I'm gonna fly back, can you move me to the other map? You know, I'll move you, I'll move you now to the other map. I don't want to see. No problem. But now at the moment you see nothing. Okay. Hell us all up here, there's undead. <laughs> I'll be right there just with the Lamau Su. Lamau. Hey Lamau Su. <laughs> Her name is Lemmy. Wait. Oh twenty. What's happening? Why am I seeing them? Oh, there it is. Okay. Trying to show Chad the map in here. Done. Uh, and as I mentioned before, you see the dead wraiths moving in. Oh boy. Verify here. There. Everybody add their own initiative in. 17 uh, for me. I'm a bear. You oh, added yours, Sagal, what's yours? Ben. And Karush? I put mine. Karush's forehead? Thank you. I put mine, the forehead is going to be ever present. Okay, ever the fire. Visit. You're first. Go. What do you do? I am going to cry like a little girl. Um, I suppose I'm going to uh, full attack the wraith closest to me. Oh, boy. Okay, you're gonna attack the wave closest to you. Feel free. <coughs> okay, now this creature is incorporeal. He gets a plus two bonus on attack rolls against corporeal targets. And it's versus flat foot. Uh, I think in Corporeal he has a mischance. One sec. Uh, if he's a serial, he has a 20% mischance. Is he's he? In Corporeal. Ah, uh, they always confuse me. Uh, is the serial and Corporeal the same thing? In, in Corporeal has a 50% mischance. But so. Okay, so. How many are those? You hit 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh! One? What? Sorry? Terrifier? What? What's up? It might actually only have a, a 50% mischance if it's inside an object. No, I don't think so. One second. Incorporeal subtype. Um, to to do. An Incorporeal has no creature? physical body. 50% mischance, even when hit by magical uh, weapons. Okay. No, it's a yeah to ignore any damage. Yeah, I was looking down at uh, when things pass when incorporeal things 
pass through an uh, object. Okay, so the first four hits, the 23 is a miss. The, these are the four D100s. So that's One a hit. miss. That's a miss. miss. That's a hit. That's a miss. Actually, you should have rolled them, but it doesn't matter. <coughs> it does matter. It matters. For real. Okay, roll your damage against that creature. The but one. is the one that hit 10 or above? No. Okay. That's the third one. I was going to say no. Yeah, okay, 16 points of damage to this creature. Okay. Uh, it's the wake's turn. Enter the pain! Enter the pain. Uh, these guys kind of move around you. And these guys move around him and they start attacking. So, um, let's see what their conception of attacking somebody is. Oh, oh. they moved, so only one of these. Their hands and try to touch you. So, this is the touch <gasps> attack. This is, these oh. are all touch attacks. They hit me, guaranteed. Two touch attacks on Gareth. They Gareth, hit. They what? hit. They yeah. hit. They have a plus 16. Did, is your... They hit. <clears throat> okay, good. So, uh, the damage is not as important as the constitution drain that you're suffering. Oh boy! So, the 1d8 at the back is the, the bear constitution takes, drain. My bear form takes the constitution drain, not me, right? Yep. Yeah. So, you take 4 constitution damage. And a total of 12 constitution damage. Okay, so my bear is at, uh, my bear form, which is not my HP, is at low Which is your bear HP, but not your natural form HP. So my natural form HP, it doesn't affect my HP. Wait, it doesn't mean, affect what's your what's natural it? form HP, but well, let's say you polymorph back to a human, you can't polymorph back to a bear and be normal again. Jackie, when you wild shape, you keep your normal character hit points. You never change your hit points based on the new constitution modifier. Yeah. And when you wild shape to and from, you get one health per hit dice as a healing. That's all the things that happen. Okay. Yeah, so my bear loses its constitution. My bear form loses constitution, but I don't. Yeah, so but max HP, your bear, take form, that. your bear form has its new constitution modifier for the saving throws, but the hit points stay as your yeah. character would. Yeah, so. Do I not you... get saving throws against that, or is it just the touch attack? No, it's it? just a touch attack. It just goes in. Okay. Okay, two touch attacks on Terrifier. Terrifier, do you have These a... Can actually oh, that's a critical hit, actually. Uh, critical hit and a 14. Come on, you will not double the ability damage on the critical. No, you, you can't if you... Devil? 14 misses. 14 misses, uh, touch attack. Misses. Wait, okay. are those magic weapons that do da hit. damage? Yes, incorporeal touch, magical damage. So like the the twelve is magical damage, right? The twelve, no, the twelve is magic. The take into account three and five is the damage you take from the actual touch. One and three is the damage you take from the actual touch. The four and eight magic. are okay. constitution drain. It needs a fifty percent miss chance. Okay, so yeah, it seems like the roll twenty has died again for me. Uh, roll fifty exactly. Yay! It misses. Five zero zero. Okay, so it misses. Uh, next thing right after that, oh, isn't it five zero zero? Um, isn't it five? No, no, zero, no, it's, zero, it's like a zero. No, 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 it's zero, like zero I roll a one. D, I roll one d one hundred, and tens. that's the like the, ten, the tens, and I roll one yeah, d ten. Yeah, zero zero is tens, five so the ones. Exactly. So you like, roll two dice like this. You have that one d ten for the digits. Yeah, no, I know, I know. Okay, the so the d ten is the the. Once and my, zero, zero, my roll 20 is dying, so we're gonna be doing this without roll 20. Wait, Sai well. I am. It's a my turn. Bear. Oh, uh, no, I'm, I'm writing it down. Fire. Okay, so it's your turn. I think you're rolling your dice around the wrong way, Chucky. No, it doesn't really matter. Don't right? you? Even so, you roll this. You roll one d100 <coughs> for the tens, and a one d10 for the digits. So Isn't yeah. this one? Isn't this one for the tens? So like zero zero yeah, is actually that's, zero. That's that's what I mean. This was a five zero. Zero. Oh, okay. Uh, you're just the way you said it, it made it sound like five zero zero. Even if it was the other way around, still a mess. It, it still works the same way. Yeah. 
It's just the differentiating the dice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go say what do you do? So my Lamaso takes his we are less than fifty feet from it because we just entered the other room so yes. we yes, come yes, back. It takes his You're move to away. come back. Okay. He can fly fifty, so we are we get in the room. Okay, you get in the room. Okay. See I already moved myself. Okay. So uh, my Lamasu will cast on me uh, Eagle Splendor that increases my charisma by four. Bring it to twenty-two. Okay. That's a plus six bonus. And thinking about roses and sunsets, I will cast Cure Mass Serious Wounds and I can hit 12 creatures, so I will hit every single creature in the room. Okay, so you roll that, you're gonna hit these guys, there's no absolutely no mischance on this. Nope, uh, he can. They can take a fortitude save to reduce the damage, but that's about it. Roll your damage, and I will times to it for the thingy. Yep. Just eighty-eight. Just, just eighty-eight <coughs> points of damage. Full. I'm nearly full health. Yay. Okay. Hey, Everybody man. heals. <laughs> These guys are taking a and shit on damage. And they get a fortitude <coughs> save. No, that's a will. Undead throw. creatures have no f constitution. They fail. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Will power saving throw. They don't get the constitution saving throw on this. Yeah. Sure. Was it will or was it? It's not constitution. It's, it's not constitution. Yeah. Will half. Is, is it fortitude though? Oh, okay. So it's DC twenty one. Will half. Okay. So the will power saving throws sits at a plus fourteen. First one is a seven. Means that's a 21. Exactly. So make. Second one is another 7. Wait! Oh no, that's wasted. Uh, never mind. That's, that's another 7. And the last one is a 15. Isn't your charisma hugely boosted, so it's not a make? No, that's wisdom. My charisma increased the healing, okay. wisdom increased so the. So all, the, the, all of them make it. So you still do an amazing amount of damage, but they still take half. Yeah. Like you still do. How bad do they look? Four damage to each of them. Uh, let's put the one that Telfire is fighting looks to be shifting in and out of reality, but it still has a strong anchor. The others are not extremely damaged. They're damaged, not extremely damaged. Yeah, that's cool. I can do that two more times. Actually, more. Okay, mm. don't expect that one <coughs> spell is gonna take out the other waves and if they actually make the save. So, Bear, your turn. I need to get out of here. If my bear form goes to um, zero con, I, l I die, right? You, Straight up. You die, yes. Straight up. Um, <laughs> How much con do you have? I have seven left. Seven? Yikes. So chances are they kill me. Uh because they can't practically can't miss. Run back. Pardon? Or attacks uh, run back. Yeah, um I guess I'll try and disengage and I could step and then run. Uh, but it's like a full down, right? It's up. Can you oh, jump? Okay. I'll, I'll five foot. I'll just try and disengage and try and um, get behind the party. Okay, so you get. You kind of get behind Tail Fire because the Ramas is still flying 20 feet above the ground. So, yeah, you kind of like you disengage and, and then there. can I cast a spell still? Uh, no, because you disengage, so you use that as your. You five foot step, you use that as your movement. And then you need to. He can he use his action to move. Then. Yeah, you need to use your actions, your stand action. Like you five foot step out okay. here, you can cast a spell here if you're gonna be there. Nah, no, I need more protection. Okay, so you're moving it back. Uh, by the way, the Ramasu, the Ramasu had 50 movement. He, he could have landed. Does the Ramasu land or stay in the air? The idea was to land because the yeah, no healing problem. spell that's, that's has exactly. a 30 feet range, so. 
Yep, so Dramasu is on the ground. Actually, no, 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 scratch that, scratch that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sh um, shift back into human form and I'm going to cast Flame Strike. Okay, who do you cast Flame Strike on? Which of the Duel Blades? I'm sure I can hit them with Flame Strike, Brian. Again, 50% mischance. It's Flame Strike. Yeah, it's a spell. You can't get mischance against spells, creatures. Spells, spells don't get mischance unless you're a. Uh, oh. That's a. Uh, spells don't get mischance unless you're a. Touch attack, or if you're a uh, right, swift mage, you can you, ha you have a missed chance. Also, it does radiant damage, so I mean, like, come on. Yeah, if it does radiant damage, it doesn't matter. Positive damage, positive energy. <laughs> they take twice as much damage from holy. <laughs> no, they don't, but still. I'm pretty sure they do. No, uh, they divine don't. They don't have. They, they take no, they 33 don't. damage. They get to save against the zone. Okay, both of them, or is this an area effect? Yeah. Good. What's your save? Uh, <coughs> forward will. It is a reflex save for half, and it is a 18 would be a make. Uh, well, kind of hard for them not to make it. The first one is an 18, and the second one is a 22. I have a 14 to well. I have 14 to well and 14 to bad for uh, reflex. Okay, so we take half damage on this. Uh, that would be. 7. No, 16 points of damage. The guy is on back on here. Ah. Okay, and next thing on after the bear, we have. Kurush. What do you Kurush? You're under our master's back right now. So you need yes. to take at least a... Uh, or you need to take part of your movement to this mount if you want to go out. I know. Uh, there is no rate in range, I assume. No. no. Uh, but you could dismount over on this side and taking a 5 feet step, you would be able to attack this one there. Okay. Uh, attack once, I assume, right? Uh, yes, of course. You only moved. Yeah, I will. Well, my weapon is magical, anyways, so I still have seven. Wait, he does six. have multiple hands. Oh yes, you're right. It doesn't. Wait, let me the think. primal no, has, he gets... it doesn't. It doesn't make any difference. Even if I have one hundred claw attacks, if I move, I can only make one. Okay. I know not. You need the multi attack feat for that, correct? Does the multi attack the just lessens penalty? the penalty. You need a full attack action to attack with all your limbs, even if you have one thousand. The high okay. is the only Pounds. exception. Or bounce needs a charge as that as well. Okay. Well, I know I attack once. That's for sure. So I assume that raid. Do raids have spell-like abilities? Do they count yeah, as do. arcane to you, Techie? Okay. So total that would be forty with the penalties for the creature being incorporeal. Hit ten above. One d one hundred. Uh, isn't there a mischance? Yeah, one d one hundred. I have a 21. Miss. Okay. okay, next scenario after that, we have to <coughs> fight you. I mean, probably it doesn't matter, but are this Wraith summoned? You don't know, maybe. I mean, the thing is, they can't enter the magic circle if they're summoned. You know, the the yellow area that my Nomasu makes. Summon yeah. creature cannot enter it. So no. that's true. If they are summoned, they would be pushed back. They are not pushed back. Okay. Oh, lovely. Okay, so, uh, tell how you, it's your turn. Go. Yeah, I think I am going to. I'm going to force missile the guy. K for spells that automatically hit. <laughs> Do it. So yeah, force missile. He takes. Oh, I need to roll my defensive casting.
Okay, 24. I that think that is it. enough for your force missile. Yeah. Because it's so 11 plus takes... your spell level. What is spell? What's the spell level of force missile? Four. Yeah. So okay. 15. No problem. I can't fail. Um, he takes. He takes f nine damage, and the one next to him takes uh, half that. So half four. That, that's four. Okay. Uh, now, after that, we have the waves going up again. So we have one touch attack on Karushchan. <laughs> Karushchan. That is a hit. Well, I mean, they can't really miss you. What's your touch AC? Yeah. Um, my touch AC, they cannot miss it, but there is a 50% yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. chance. I'm just rolling for 1 or 20. The I miss mean. chance is a 40, so that's a that's a miss. Yes. Uh, can, touch can. attack on uh, Gareth, but Gareth in normal form. I haven't changed the token, but Gareth is now in normal form. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, hit. Uh, you have no miss chance. So this guy over on here, by the way. This is the one. My normal form. Wait, what did it roll? The guy over on here hits. Well, um, it rolled an 18. Okay. But the idea is, on the lowest they can roll with hitting. What, what's your normal touch you see? Uh, it's like practically the same. Like, uh, it's like a their bonus is plus like 12, like 13. 13 is the no, no. lowest thing they can roll while still not critically missing. Um, okay, so let's see about that two. D6 plus the 1, the 8. So 2d6, we have 9 points of damage when you take from this and 4 points of con constitution damage. Okay, so, so I take the of constitution HP. is drained from So that's 2 and I take 22. Yep. Um, my max is now 70 and I take how many? 9 points? No, 4 points. Four points of no. You lose four oh, of dam other damage. Oh, nine other points. damage. Nine points of damage. Yeah, nine points. So okay. I'd be eighty minus twenty-two. I would be fifty-eight okay. out of seventy. Two on terrifier. year. Terrifier. year. We have an eighteen and a twenty on you. Nope. And nope. Okay. What is your touch AC made out of? My touch is currently at twenty-six. Okay, that makes sense with the blade singer. And that's about it for the waves. Wow. I will. Okay, roll 20 is back for me. Go. Okay. Um, I will... Yeah. Uh, myself, Sorel, will uh, cure serious wounds mass a second time. <laughs> so everybody will be hit by that. Yeah, it's right here again. It will deal 40. Or let's do that. By the way, those being healed will gain additional two because the ritual that I said I will do every morning. Okay. So. I and they get... make their saves. Okay, then 20 damage then. 20 damage. Uh, the one that Hellfire was fighting initially looks very much wounded. Also, the Lamas. It's almost dead, guys! <laughs> it's been almost dead. But it is dead. <laughs> uh, it's almost Delamassu. dead again. <laughs> it's almost dead. Uh, does what? Uh, we'll cast Holy Smite. On which one? It's a 20 foot uh, radius burst. Oh my okay. god, he'll kill me. <laughs> oh, it will only affect the evil creatures. So, uh, the spell deals 1d8 points of damage per 2's caster level to each evil creature in the area. 1d6 evil, uh, points of damage. To an evil outsider. So, so are these, these guys are not outsiders? Or? They're evil okay. creatures, not outsiders. Uh, blah, blah blah. And it causes it to become blind for one round. Yeah, there's more with that. Successful will sitting through. It is okay. So it affects neutral creatures as well, and I'm neutral. Uh, wait a second about that. I think it just blinds you. It does not blind me. It just deals damage to me. Oh, okay, so that's that's only gonna kill this guy over on here. The other ones are still alive. <coughs> Blind though. Blinded by the light. 
Okay. The spell deals half damage to creature who are neither good or evil. Okay. And so they're not blinded. You take nine points of damage. Like I can but help. He it. can I reduce. Can it you well. can half that to one quarter with a successful will save of oh, one. Oh wait, this guy oh, wait, is not made one. those saves as well. They don't okay, have so will those do they? two. Yes, they have a fourteen plus actually. I take nine. Okay, okay so. Only one of them makes the will save. Wait, it's not 21, it's much less. It's uh, 13 plus 4, 17. They probably all make it then. No, the the other two, all the two and a one. Oh, okay, that's cool. And the other <coughs> one dies anyways on the on the half damage. So Bear, your turn. Um, the blind, right? Uh, they seem to be blind, yes. Um, they won't see this coming. I cast another flame strike. Okay, go with flame strike. Oh, by the way, if they save, they, they make they it die. Blind, so they they die. They even half damage in that they die. Okay, Kaush. Cool. Uh, there is one wraith left, right? Yes. I'm going to charge it. As weird as it sounds, like over and around. You pass through it. No, I don't really want to pass through it. Yeah. I just. <clears throat> so with flanking, it's going to be kind of slightly ridiculous. And okay. Like, <laughs> yeah, you kill it. Oh, wait, oh, maybe fifty percent. Fifty percent. Fifty percent. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. You're right. So I hit. It can hits. I roll you, the crit effect now? You I want to roll. You can, but you kill. You die anyway. Uh, tail fire. My crit effect is eighty. What is it, checking? Yes. Uh, doing your stay here. I forgot to give me a spot check, please. I completely okay. forgot of that while you were in the zoom around. <coughs> and with that 21, you notice a secret door on the left side of the room. Hey! Look at that secret door! It looks brilliant! Right exactly where I pushed your, where you put your character right now. There we go. Secret door. Okay, so, um, what do you guys want to do next? You are hewing the roar, still reverberating in the mountains. It seems that you can you can hear, you can still hear noises from outside. Um, you're not sure what's happening. Hmm. Everybody I point out the fine? door. I say, is everybody feeling fine? Um, I'm less constitutionist as I would normally be. But apart from that, less I'm fine. Constitution. Okay, I will cast Lesser Restoration on you. That's D4 con back for you. I feel you great. Still less okay. constitutional. Cool. I'm max again. Okay. Um, everybody else feeling fine? I didn't even get hit. Well, I did get hit, cool. but I didn't get hit. And shall we see what <laughs> this noise about? Secret or that we could go down the secret passage that I found. You know, secret oh, door. Yeah, that too. So what Seriously, do you guys want to do? Secret passage. Secret passage. Oh, yeah. secret passage. I walk in human form and I walk up to the secret passage. I back away from secret passage. Okay, so inside of a secret passage, you see a corridor going. Oh, lovely, no trap. Okay. I'll follow. I, I, <laughs> I slowly crab walk down the side of the. I want corridor. to go back to the Lamasu. Okay. Uh, okay, the Lamasu moves over on there. Uh, yep. You see two doors, one going north, one going <clears> south. <throat> and I flip a coin. Okay. D2 is north, D1 is south. Tefayo, give me another spot check. Ooh, spot check. No, it is. Just up. Okay, you see another secret door on the left side of um, Gareth. Oh, hey, there's another secret door over there. We could go I straight. Shall, I shall investigate the secret door. Okay. Uh, it seems like the secret door is just. Um, seems to be just a slab of stone. 
Look for traps, please. <laughs> um, okay, I'll search for traps. Why are there always so many secret doors? With a 20, do I find any traps? Yes, you'll find okay, five. You find, you're sure that there's no traps on this one? There's okay. no traps there. I go through the secret door. Hey, it worked. Okay, there's definitely traps up here. Okay, so what happens? Oh, you walk inside and you see what seems to be a word on the ground with red, kind of red warning signs. Kind of, you, you see it on the map. That's exactly what you see. Like red growing. Um, Rifts on the ground. So I can see upstairs and on a flat surface. You know, you're, you're kind of like down below. This is not going too much up. So you're like, you're a human right now. You're still like, what, five, six feet tall? It's roughly. Yeah, so you can see up. This This is only like a six feet up. You can see the grows, the red grow of the rifts. I cast Detect Magic. You cast Detect Magic and you detect a sh shit ton of magic and a 30. 30 feet radius. Actually, no, I don't need to. Magic to take magic would still be out. Okay, and you see a black mass, like a black rump. Um, it seems to be a rock. I wish you just back. The big bird? Like you, you, see, you see the back of a very large black mass. Kind of in the middle of the one. I point it out, and I kind of slowly move up. So right before the the red lettering. Okay. No. So. And how magic? What, what kind of magic is the red red lettering? Mm, kind of magic. What kind of magic? One second, I will tell you. I'm gonna attempt to study the glyph and see if I can figure out what it is. It is a glyph. Magical. Of glitch, right? <laughs> okay. So let's see that it seems like on the ground this is not exactly sure. You're not exactly sure what type of magic. You never you never sense this magic ever ever again in your life. This is new a new source of magic for you. I'm going so I to try and it. read the glyph. You know, studying okay. being a mage. No problem. Does the Ramasu just stay in there with uh, you and Christian? Uh, I will fly over like up. Okay, so you fly over on there. Say like a black, this literally, as I said, like a black mass, a black lump, kind of in the middle of the room. Okay, and then uh, I ask, Kurush, do you want to get closer and see what that is? I'm fine here. Okay. Um, do I need to roll something to figure? Uh, try to I figure cannot check. Yes. And then we hover above the bear. I did Skype there for a little bit. Yes. Woohoo! 23! Skype did derp a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. I see, I see, and check you. You have no idea. I've got no idea what that is. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, now we call this thing. fast. Okay, because Skype just fucks up whenever you we do that. Uh, random yeah. message, random Skype message, please. Uh, I did it first. Suck it. Everything's dark. Yeah. So dark. Yeah. It's so dark. Yeah, Nick. Nick's forehead okay, isn't no. in there. <gasps> okay. Ah, uh, it became <laughs> light. We've lost <laughs> Nick's forehead. No, 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 no. Stay there. Stay there. It's okay. So, as I said, you see this lump of <laughs> like now that like, closer to it, it seems like. Fresh, seems like it's a freshy substance standing there, not moving at all. The grips still growing. Look natural or unnatural? No idea. 
Um, it seems it's a freshy mass of organic things. It's definitely unnatural. Okay, but is it from nature? No. Okay. Okay, so uh, what do you guys do? What are all those things in this room? Like those are all chests. Is there anything magic in them? Uh, yes, as I said, you can feel a, a very big amount of magic. So, do we know what's in this? So each this chest runic? seems to have been made from the scales and bones of different colors of dragon: white, black, green, blue, and red. With the dragon skull serving as the red. Do we know what this rune is? This red. Do you paint? have absolutely no idea what that is? I kind of chime up and I ask <laughs> the fleshy mess. Do you speak? As you say that, the creature turns around. The door closes behind you, fair uh, tail fire. And this is what you see in front of you. Oh. Do it with fire! Oh, hi, a beholder. Hi, a beholder. And I think this is the best stopping point for free for five dungeons this week. How did the creature even look like? Uh, this is exactly how you see it on the map. Like, the creature ex ex looks exactly as you see it on the map. I oh, don't see the oh, token oh. because my roll twenty is faulty. It's <laughs> everywhere. Okay, if it's a uh, big. Throw. It seems to be a bit hovering off the ground as it turned around. All of its skin is black. It has about eight tentacles with eyes at the end of it. There's a giant eye on its face and a giant, very sharp teeth mouth. I'm assuming we just need a beta initiative. Okay. That's yeah. all we need. Well, I mean, we're talking to it now. It's not like I'm, I'm sure we're now, like, but fuck you guys. <laughs> we're stopping this now. So we'll see you guys next week. Let's do some shout outs. So, yeah. Isai, what's up? Uh, shout out to Yolo. Shout out to Swag. Shout out to Increased University Workload. And okay, yeah, good. thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'm sure most of you are listening. None of you want to watch this. Um, yeah, cheers chat, cheers players, cheers, thanks for DMing Chucky. And to everyone that would be willing to thank me, you're welcome, in advance. <laughs> That's a bit arrogant, but yeah. Alex. Efficiency. Thank you chat for watching, and okay. hopefully you will be here next time as well. You're very, um, well, well yeah. I forget, yes, no I problem. forget to move back the mic. Well, yeah. Uh, Thanks, chat, for watching. Hopefully, we'll see you next week when we will kill this beholder in one turn. And That's right. Okay. Next forehead. Uh, my forehead doesn't have any shadows to make. I still don't see the talking, but I hear it's a beholder, so that's okay. Okay. And last but not least, the devil. I shout out to the entire universe because there hasn't been an epic shout out like this before. <laughs> that sounds like a pretty loud shout you'd have to make. Like I don't think it travels I'm a mage, through space. I can do either. it. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't travel through space, it's sound. He just opens a lot of portals. <laughs> yeah, he just into opens portals everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so thanks for watching guys. Hope you had and as much fun as I did DMing this and I hope I put his hat bring this so uh, Thanks my host, uh, my host time, the host of... Uh, thanks my crew, because my crew is amazing. And uh, yeah, see you guys you. next week. And we'll see what happens next in the Fane of Tiamat. Yeah. I'll see what the fuck did I say do closing that portal. Are you gonna survive the Beholder encounter? And is there an actual Tiamat if we anywhere? We'll see that all next what, week. Bye-bye. Uh, what, what did I do? What have I done? What have I done? <laughs>